This is Jerry Walsh, Director of Sustainability for Ball Corporation. What are the primary industries for Ball Corporation? Ball is a seven and a half billion dollar global company and uh, 9% of our business is our aerospace operations, which are both based here in Colorado. The other 91% of Ball Corporation is metal packaging. We're the largest manufacturer of aluminum cans in the U.S. and in uh, the world. And we also make steel ca food cans and steel cans for the household products industry. What are some of your duties as Director of Sustainability for Ball Corporation? Well, my par primary responsibility as Director of Sustainability at Ball is our sustainability reporting and driving our internal progress on sustainability within our worldwide operations. So every two years we put out a sustainability report and we also do some different reporting, uh, for instance, on the Dow Jones Sustainability Index uh, and different reporting aspects like that. So I'm primarily responsible for that and also ensuring that we have good quality data and uh, the data collection, making sure that our operating divisions are all uh, focused on uh, the same things and driving progress internally in their organizations. We do embed sustainability into our operations so that each division is responsible for their own goals, but we need to have um, a person who's um, sort of the hub, if you will, on all the different activities that are going on in the organization. What path led you to what you're doing today? Well, actually, I've had a very varied career, probably one that nobody would ever, ever duplicate. I started out in information services as a computer programmer. From there, I moved into managing the graphics department, the CAN graphics. And I uh, was in our sales department. I was manager of recycling programs for Ball. Then I became director of packaging industry affairs. And I used to joke that my big affair was sustainability because that's really primarily what that role became as sustainability became more and more of an important area for Ball. My role became 100% sustainability, so my title is Director of Sustainability now. Has Ball Corporation always been committed to sustainability, or is this a new initiative? When we started our formal sustainability program, when we first started hearing more about and understanding what sustainability was, we recognized that we had already in place a lot of principles of what sustainability is, such as a good environmental management system, such as a focus on energy reduction, a focus on recycling, and um, and also in terms of you know how we treat our people and safety in our manufacturing organizations. So we had a really good foundation to build upon when we first started. What's new is the global corporate focus and a, and a true strategy on, on sustainability, transparency in our environmental and social impacts, reporting externally every two years, and set, setting goals and really getting the whole corporation um, behind all, the, all of these efforts that were really in you know, different uh, regions of the world. What are the primary reasons why Ball Corporation has made sustainability a priority? Well, we consider that sustainability is really essential to the long-term success of any large business today. With the constrained resources we have in the world and increasing population growth, sustainability is really key to our, our long-term success. Any large company today that wants to be around in the future needs to understand what these risks are related to resource constraints and population growth and be able to understand how they can turn these risks more into opportunities so that they continue to grow. For instance, energy, energy use. Energy will only continue to increase as a cost. The more we can do now to reduce our energy, the better we're going to be in the future. Sustainability is an extremely broad field from human resources to turning off lights. How have you been able to pick which areas to focus your efforts on? Well, we intuitively knew that as a manufacturing organization, we needed to focus on things like energy reductions, uh, water, uh, waste from our operations, uh, recycling. Now, to make sure that we were on the right path, uh, we uh, did a materiality survey where we surveyed um, some of our uh, customers that are engaged in sustainability, suppliers engaged in sustainability, government, um, some different local governments, NGOs, uh, trade associations, people that are familiar with Ball Corporation of Sustainability and asked them, what do you think we should be focused on sustainability? We gave them dozens of options and uh, we also asked some internal folks too and we put all that together and, and those are our focus areas. You're such a big corporation. Have you thought about strategies of affecting the supply chain upstream? Absolutely, and that's something that we've been working on, a good example of how we've been really engaged in, in sustainable practices for years. I mentioned that we reduced the weight of the can by 40% in 40 years, and every single step of the way, which there were many steps of the way, 
Uh, every single step of the way, we had to work cooperatively with our suppliers and our customers. Our suppliers are the ones that roll the metal and supply, supply the metal to us, so we had to work with them. And we also had to work with our customers because they're the ones that fill the cans, and we have many different uh, customers, you know, here and abroad. And so every, every time we made some changes, we had to work cooperatively with both of them to make sure that we're doing it, but everybody wins. How challenging is it to embed sustainability into your international organization? Well, as, as an international organization, it, uh, it, it, it makes it more complex uh, and challenging uh, for obvious reasons such as language differences, geographical differences, cultural differences, that sort of thing. So, for instance, in some areas of the world, water use is not of, of concern. So we, don't e we didn't even know how much water we use in certain operations. In, uh, we have operations in China, and in China they don't uh, provide details in terms of weight of materials uh, that, that are picked up uh, for waste, those kinds of things. So, so there are challenges related to that, and also you know, the geographical distance to try to communicate. But on the other side, you know, this is sustainability is um, uh, driven at the top of the organization, so uh, that overcomes the challenges because these divisions know that they have to um, they have to get on board as well. What was your initial approach to the implementation of a sustainability program here at Ball? Uh, well, number one is the support uh, and buy-in of management and, and the executives. And um, really that happened pretty quickly at Ball Corporation. We had the support of the CEO uh, and our upper level management pretty quickly. And at Ball, as I mentioned before, we had had many uh, pieces of sustainability that we had already been focused on. We decided to start with putting out a sustainability report because we knew we had a lot of the pieces of sustainability, we had a lot of the programs of sustainability, but we just, um, we wanted to, to put out a report. So we decided to hire a consultant uh, to help us in this process and to understand, you know, what we needed to focus on and that sort of thing. And the consultant met with us at, you know, even some of the executives and really put, focused on uh, the triple bottom line of sustainability and that businesses need to focus on what is the business case, you know, where can you, um, reduce your environmental and social impacts that would favorably impact your bottom line. And that really helped drive sustainability within the divisions and uh, you know, with the employees that we were focusing on this, not only from an environmental and social standpoint, but from an economic standpoint. Can you describe for me some of the core sustainability initiatives here at Ball Corporation? Okay, well, let's talk about waste reduction. That's one key thing. For instance, in our largest division, North American Metal Beverage Division, they've actually, uh, improve their recycling percent from 28% two years ago to 42%. While doing that, they also reduce their cost by $750,000. And that's recycling as, as many things as, as, as possible in the manufacturing uh, operation. Energy is a big focus of Ball Corporation. Our, uh, one of our largest can plants in Saratoga Springs, New York, has an energy management system where they can real time understand any peaks in energy and address them. For instance, air compression is one of the biggest uh, uses of energy in making cans, and uh, they can identify air leaks through this system, which saves them money and also the other plants can learn from, uh, from their uh, successes. Best practices is a key thing at Ball Corporation. Water is another important initiative. We use a lot of wa water in our washing process and washing the cans, and we've identified a lot of ways to reduce the water in that. How do some of these sustainability projects impact employees? Well, employees are, uh, many employees are really engaged in this and they have good ideas in terms of, uh, you know, some of the things that we can do to improve our sustainability. And um, uh, employees actually benefit uh, from any money saving opportunity that we can do because we have an economic value added program at Ball where most of us, uh, a good a part of our uh, pay is based on performance. Another thing that we're doing, and we just started this year, th this year is uh, we have the, what's called the Hoover Sustainability Award. Our plant operations are very, can be very competitive with, with each other in a good way, and uh, we instituted the Hoover Sustainability Award. It will be awarded to the plant in each division that makes the most progress on each of our different uh, sustainability focus areas. So again, that, that uh, uh, competition kind of thing and the drive for improvement uh, really gets employees engaged. What advice would you give to somebody who's trying to launch a sustainability program in an organization? Well, number one, I think, is making the business case. 
uh, showing that showing, showing what the ROI is, showing how it can impact um, positively not only your uh, environmental and social uh, impact areas, but have a positive effect on your economic bottom line. So what's the ROI? Getting management support and buy-in, that's a key thing. You need to show that this is something you know important for the long-term success of the company. And also staying within um, some of the parameters that you're already doing, like for instance, we have Every year, uh, we, you know, we go through a strategic planning process. So sustainability became part of that strategic planning process. You know, how do you keep, you know, again, embedding sustainability in, into things you're already, already doing. Um, you know, some green teams can work too. You know, getting people who are really um, uh, passionate about this subject on some green teams, coming up with some good, easy wins and communicating them and show, sharing the wins and uh, using that to really empower and engage employees, you know, to, to make some changes and do some different things in their areas. Award systems work, uh, like I just talked about, that kind of thing. And also it's really important to have a good, robust data collection system. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, thank you. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.